Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to talk something about the runny nose. This is a common problem. We are going to see in all the age groups. Maybe a child, maybe middle age, sometimes an older age group. I have got by this, this is Rana ENT Center, having the center of excellence opposite the great college, J. Road, Lahore, Pakistan. For the last 30 years, I am working here. People come in a miserable condition. They are sneezing, they are having the runny nose, and such situations, the first we ask the patient some history, and then do the various investigation. There are various, you see, ways how we can handle it, which I can tell you, I learned it from Nose 2000 and Beyond Conference in Washington, D.C. Professor Karen, he's standing with me. He is the president of American Society of Rhinology. Rhinology means disease of nose. Whereas otology means disease of ear. Laryngology means the disease of the larynx like this. Runny nose, it was a hot topic, state of our lecture there. And Professor Karen told that first take the detailed history. Where when the patient comes to you with this problem, suppose I've got by this Rana ENT Center on J Road, Lahore, Pakistan. Today, when I you see received a patient from Talagang. The other patient was from Chakwal, the other patient was from Hanewal. People come in the various areas, especially now there, there are, you see, flood problems in the Punjab and also in Sindh and Rochistan. Where there is more, you see, water, the water vapors, I think so, hot and humid atmosphere, people start sneezing. I will tell you very frankly that after taking the history according to the cause, we treat the patient. And this treatment I learned from the Nose 2000 and Beyond Conference and the second was then in Manila, Love the Nose Conference. There again they told that there was, you see, a lot of people coming from various countries, especially from Tokyo, Japan, the, you see the great doctor, she is sitting with me, the other is a you see, delegate from Japan. They said that the person should have a proper history from the parents because mostly the allergy runs in the families. Take proper history, then do some proper investigations. We can have even the X-ray, PNS, and then the CT scan with FEST protocol. Sometimes there are polyps. If you can see the polyps, there are small grapes-like structures hanging in the nose. Then we manage them with the FES, F -E -S -S, Functional Endoscopic Sinus Surgery. We clear the airway of the patient. This was very nicely told in the Malaysia also. In Kuala Lumpur, I represented Pakistan. And you can see I'm standing with the delegate. And there they told that nose should be cleared. Then this running nose and all other things we can handle. Then there was an ENT conference in Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm standing there. First, SARC ENT conference took place. Again, it was a hot topic because it's a global problem. Running, running nose. Anyway, if you may go to the west, you may come to the east. The problem of this is to be faced by the humanity. I'm doing a lot of work, especially on this, you see, issue that it should be done properly. First, there should be simple we used to remove the polyps. The recurrence of the polyps used to take place again after four months, six months, or one year. Now there is a special type of surgery which is called the functional endoscopic sinus surgery, FES protocol. It's okay. Then there was a conference also in Orlando, in America, USA. They told that running nose, running nose should be taken seriously because then it can give, give the ir irreversible damage to the various, you see, organs of the body. It should not be left, you see, untreated. Especially the smaller children, when they are having a watering from the nose and all other things, sometimes there is an adenoids problem. Adenoids problem along with allergy or si simple allergy of the nose can give the problem of running nose. But in Adelaide, the child will be having open mouth and sometimes epistaxis is also there. Most common cause in the children 
it was told there in the Orlando that epistaxis in the children is mostly due to the adenoids. I am standing with the uh, Professor Jennifer Deriberi, President of American Academy of ORL HNS, which is a world ENT forum. More than 190 countries are the members of that forum. She told that running nose should be taken seriously, especially in the children, because then it can cause problem of the deafness. This patient can have the ear problems. Sinus problem can give rise to the asthmatic problems. Then there was an ENT conference in Sri Lanka also. I represented Pakistan in Sri Lanka in the fourth heart ENT conference. It was a great opinion. Then in Lahore, third heart ENT conference, I organized myself. It was a big, you see, event. From Dhaka, Professor Alauddin, he came, he was the president of SARP. You can see here, Professor Alauddin and uh, the Professor John J. Wright. They told us that in our country, this runny nose is a big problem. We should investigate and thoroughly we should discuss and treat the patient accordingly. Maybe it's the middle age group, maybe it's the older age group. I am having this ENT you see, facility with the all the best possible here in Lahore, Pakistan, J Road Park, Rana ERT Center. People come from various places and we do the good to them. Thank you very much.